Welcome back to Mallorca and today I am in Port Andrach in the southwest corner of the island. Now you'll be pleased to know it's actually not quite as warm as it looks today. It's actually quite cold. It's about 12 degrees and it's also rather breezy as well. So we've had a few changes to island life here in the past 24 hours and that has been that the bars and restaurants and cafes have all had to close and the new rule is that we're not actually allowed to go out to meet anybody which is it's quite unusual and it's quite sad because a lot of us who haven't been working have been have been going out with our friends um, up into the mountains hiking across the countryside and just staying outside and trying to stay social and really from a from a mental health point of view it's been keeping us all sane so that's gonna be difficult for many people to contend with. So in Palma yesterday there was a huge protest of about 1500 people who run the bars, who run the restaurants on the island protesting about how they are then able to open. However what's been even less consistent is that the government has chosen to help some of the big tourism companies on the island and those employees who have not been able to work with some kind of financial help to see us through these really really tricky times. However the hospitality industry has received literally no help and this is why these demonstrations have taken place in and around Parma um, over the past couple of days. So fingers crossed somebody somewhere in government will hopefully make the right decision and maybe give these guys a helping hand because eventually we're going to see many of our favourite restaurants and bars closing forever and people losing their livelihoods. So I'm going to take us for a little walk around Port Andrach. I know many of you have been here already or many of you maybe will think about coming here in the future and hey let's not get our hopes up as to when exactly that's going to be. But let's go for a little walk around the town and I'll show you what's here and you're really going to have to use your imagination here. You're going to have to imagine the tables and chairs are out. You're going to have to imagine people are eating at the, uh, at the cafes and drinking at the bars but you'll get an idea as to how beautiful it is down here and um, let's get going. So come on let's go and check it out. So here we're looking at uh, Can Pep and also Cappuccino restaurants which are in a fantastic location because as you can imagine if you're coming here for a coffee or you're coming here for a meal you're looking out on these amazing views here across the port. And just coming a little bit further along here, we can see the Port Andrach beach as well. Now at the moment, of course, like many beaches on the island, it's completely covered in seaweed. But this does clear, get cleared up in the summer and it's a nice place just to come and sit and uh, watch the world go by. Now, Tim's Bar has something of a legendary reputation here on the island, not least because it was established in 1978, which actually sounds not that old, but now we're in 2021, it does seem very old. But also because Claudia Schiffer apparently used to come down here and drink cocktails um, whilst looking out on the water, allegedly. So just coming further down here, we're passing the Portobello restaurant and the Somalia restaurant and the Admiral. And once again, you need a serious amount of imagination to imagine this place, these lovely places here, being packed full of, packed full of visitors, or residents even, who would like to come out and just sit and enjoy a meal. And finally, we're coming down towards the Rocca Mar, which is a super nice restaurant as well, when, when it is open. And this is the last main restaurant here, right at the end of the port. Keep all your game, as and laws, as and laws. It's all the same, as and laws, as and laws. Keep all your game, as and laws, as and laws. So the same, 
So we're just heading back towards the car park, just a little bit further up here. and some of the boats have already gone out for the day I think this one's just about to go out and at the end of the day the boats come on back and the fish is then sold throughout the supermarkets and in the other markets on the island and in fact just behind us here is actually the Port Andrach fish market which you'll see is open at quarter to six to eight o'clock every day so you can pop down here and basically pick up your dinner coming up and over there, the Blue Bridge here, as we head towards the marina in Port Andrach. Now on the weekend, this area is normally packed with kids feeding the very greedy ducks and geese, which normally congregate at the bottom waiting for food. And then my daughter used to come down in here and feed them when she was much younger, and lots of kids on the weekend always do. So we're just walking down this walkway here and to my right where you can see the cars parked here is normally the area where all the sightseeing buses come during the summer months but residents are allowed to come down here and park over the winter. This is just such a lovely area because there are lots of benches along here and it's just the perfect place to come down for an evening stroll and to sit and watch the sun go down as well from over here. So let's continue walking towards the Port Andrach Marina, which is just further along here. Keep all your game as and lost, as and lost. It's all the same as and lost, as and lost. Now you can actually see as well that a lot of these sightseeing boats have been taken out of the water and are being moored up in, uh, in this marina here, like for example the sightseeing boat here which has cruises going to St Elm and to Dragonera which is just along the coast here. Hopefully they'll be back in the water for the for next summer. And for those of you who would come to Port Andrach on the bus, there are buses out from Palma and there are buses from Santa Ponza as well and from other areas of the southwest too. Um, this is where you'd catch the bus back and this is where you'd be dropped off as well. So it's the 122, it's the red and yellow tip buses that will bring you all the way down to Port Andrach. We're just coming into the, into the yacht club area here as well. It's quite nice to take a little walk around here and just come down and check out the yachts. I mean they're absolutely stunning. And there are also a couple of dining options down here as well. If you don't want to particularly eat in, in the port or you just fancy a change, we've got the uh, cantina here which is, a, which is a small restaurant and also you have the, the yacht club as well further at the end. to the Port Andrach Club de Vela or Sailing Club restaurant here and this is a fantastic place to come down to to have a really special meal out and it's particularly fabulous I mean it's not cheap it's not cheap at all because you do get a lot of your owners coming in here to to wine and dine but it's especially good if you have dinner bought for you so yeah no this is a really nice place to come a really really super nice place to come on a hot summer's day So at this point we're going to turn around and head back, head back towards the town area, but we're just going to pass by these boats 
and it is absolutely stunning down here. I mean, you have to admit, it's so sad. It's it's empty, and it's so sad. There's nobody down here apart from a few a few people working on their boats, but it's absolutely stunning as you can see. Anyway, thanks so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for hopefully more positive videos in the future. Um, I'm going to make my way home now. I'm going to make myself a hot cup of coffee because let's face it, I can't get one down here and that is a shame. So until the next time everyone, goodbye for now.